All right, everybody get out your instruments. It's time for another video play along. My name is Michael Weiss, and today we're going to be looking at lesson three out of the Rubank Elementary method for saxophone, extending the range. So we're going to be doing everything with our octave key today, using the octave key to go higher than we've ever gone before. Everything on the page is whole notes and half notes, so we should be able to just set our metronome to 85 beats per minute and cruise right through. So let's start off with what I think is the hardest one on the page. Let's get that out of the way. Number one, one, two, three, four. Next up, we've got a new note, F, in number two. One, two, three, four. Adding one note at a time here, we've got a G sitting on top of the staff in number three. One, two, three, four. Let's look at number four, where we're going to be skipping from G to the E that we learned earlier. One, two, three, four. And let's look at number five for the last new note on this page, letter D. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Skip around in number six. One, two, three, four. And in number seven, basically just a scale going down. One, two, three, four. Let's get some practice going from C to D in number eight. One, two, three. Don't forget that it also says to play number eight in half notes, so let's do that. One, two, three. And moving on to number nine. 
One, two, three. This one in half notes as well. So here we go. One, two, three. Last up, we've got another duet for number 10. And once again, you'll hear me play the top line, the bottom line, and then the two lines together. One, two, three. How did you guys do? Let me know in the comments below. This has been another video play along with Michael Weiss. Until next time, happy practicing. <laughs>